welcome to the Soul Tribe Podcast. The Soul Tribe Podcast was created to help you navigate through the world of spirituality, wellness, and self-development in an easy, grounded, and relatable way. We break down everything from the Akashic Records, manifesting, spirituality, and so much more. We want to help expand your boundaries and bring the spiritual world to you in a fun and easy way. Get ready to be inspired with tips, tools, and easy-to-digest information. Let's do this. Welcome back, Soul Tribe Podcast. Today's episode is going to be about empowerment. Um, This wasn't a very fully planned episode previously. It was kind of something that literally today uh, in the afternoon it occurred to us to do. Um, And we'll go through the reasons why. But I think it's something that maybe a lot of people might need to hear some sort of points or, you know, things that we specifically talk about that has to do with empowerment. But the first thing I would want to say is, like, this is totally the time to begin to, like, self-empower yourself. I keep getting that No matter message. who you are. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter where you are, what point in life you are at. If you're at the bottom, at the top, in the middle, like, if you're going through a crisis, if you're going through a great point, it doesn't matter. Like this is literally the year to start to start taking back your power, and you've gotten that message as well, oh, like you're saying, right? Constantly, like it's ridiculous. And when I channel stuff for like social media, um, I'm getting that so often to a point where it's like, can you like hammer it in anymore? <laughs> it's like, and that's not just for me; it's for everybody, right? It's like we all need to feel empowered right now, especially I think this whole pandemic thing has really put us in a situation where we've needed to empower ourselves and that we can't rely on anything outside of us to create that empowerment. Because I think a lot of us were depending on our external situations or factors to give us that empowerment. It's like, oh, if I get this job, I'm going to feel empowered. If I do this, I'm going to feel empowered. It's like, great, those things can make you feel better, but we need to rely on ourselves and, and our inner situation and, and certain things around our life that we can change and we can do. We'll talk a little bit about that like um, in this episode, but we can empower ourselves by the decisions and the things that we create in our life moving forward, especially this year. Yeah. So I think the really big thing that we wanted to begin with, which is the reason why we decided to do this episode, was mainly about money. And it's funny because we've never really talked about money on our podcast Mm -hmm. and it's like a huge thing it's like we need money to survive in this in this this matrix in this reality we we need it we should do like a dedicated episode about money and what the masters and guides have to say about that i love that yeah we can we can jot that down and do one in the in the near future yeah um okay so there's two things that i started seeing at least it's like personally. So, I mean, and the first thing I want to say before we start more detailed into this is we are not financial advisors. Nope. (laughs) (laughs) Like, like literally listen to what we say. You think, Oh, that really resonates with me. Let me look into it a little bit more maybe. Right. But don't like, definitely don't like fully take our advice because what might work for us might not work for everybody or for, you know, for everyone listening. Yeah. We're just literally Um, just going to talk what we're like, things that we're doing now to empower ourselves this year and moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I was seeing like money obviously was going to be a huge issue. And since the cashier records had talked about, and I don't remember when they said for the next three years, it was going to be, was it in November that they said that in November of 2020, that the next three years were going to be very difficult. I think so. You know? yeah, I think so. There, yeah. I think it was November in the channeling uh, yeah. episode. When I, when I channeled that, when I saw that I wasn't just seeing emotional, I was seeing like financial, like it was going, there, a lot of people were going to be financially hit and are going, to, are going to continue to be financially hit for the next three years. So it's not going to be a walk in the park for a grand majority of people on earth. And so why would I be outside of that box? The probability of me being in that box with everybody else is high. And so I started thinking about it and I said, well, yes, okay. We know that money supposedly is energy. We know all these things, but at the same time I was starting to see and I was studying a lot of things from the outside and I was thinking there's a big manipulation of the system, like the printing, overprinting of money, you know, like debts, like worldwide and per country and all those things. And I started looking at things like, how is it? 
How is it that universities, for example, in the U.S., are permitted to charge you such high tuition fees, right? And then you spend the rest of your life having to work because you wanted to study that one thing. So now, like, you, you decided to study that, you went into massive debt, and now you, even if you didn't want to do that anymore, you got, you're going to have to stick to something for the rest of your life anyways to pay that debt, that student loan off. And so looking at all these things, and that's more than one thing, obviously, it's looking at all these things from the outside, I thought, well, there's got to be a way to empower yourself. There's got to be another way. And I, that's when, I, about a year ago, I got into crypto, uh, into crypto, into like, you know, and not just like Bitcoin, because that's the most famous one that everybody knows about, not just Bitcoin. I got into tokens. I got into like Ethereum and like other coins, crypto coins. Um, and I found somebody to, to me is like, I love him. Like, I love how he teaches. I, I love the way he views like how, how we can all no longer depend on the system. Like that's his goal. He doesn't charge really expensive his classes. His classes are like really good price for what he, for what he's teaching. It's like a really good is, price. Yeah. I love the intention he has behind the courses. Like it's not somebody who's doing it for the money. He's doing it because he wants to teach. He wants empower. you to learn and he wants, yes, he wants to empower people. He wants to be independent. And so this is, this is a guy that I found who I'd been following already, but I didn't know he did those classes. And then when I found out, I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to try it out, which was rare because I didn't know anybody at the time around me that was doing it. So it was very like, let me see. <laughs> and I mean, I, I can't I can't tell you the numbers right now because I didn't look at them before I came on the episode. But guys, I was what I was doing is inside of my limitation, I was putting a hundred I was putting a hundred bucks every week. If I had a week that was a little rough, I wouldn't put a hundred bucks. But if I had a good week, I was putting a hundred. If I had a better week, I would put a little bit more. Um, so I was putting a percentage of what I could, and I've already made thousands just from the. The amount of like, yeah, putting the money on the right crypto, on the right tokens, um, looking at it. And I, you have to keep active with the projects, make sure that the projects are still doing good, that the coders are still doing their job and all that, all that other stuff. Right. Um, and it's, it's, they're still making, it's still, it's still making money. And now you recently, Lorena, because I talked about yeah. it so much, I guess, to you. No, but I've always been recently. fascinated by it. Like, I think it's, and I don't know, it's this feeling also, I guess maybe some channeling too of like empowering yourself with different, like, I guess before we were all like kind of brainwashed to think, yeah, we need to have a job, a stable job to get money. And I think there's so much empowerment in finding a form of investment that works for you. And I find like crypto something, especially the way this teacher explains it, by the way, he does classes in Spanish. So if any of you understand Spanish and want his details, we're happy to send it to you. Just message us on Instagram. Yes, um, 100% recommend Yeah, 100%. I'm, I'm not through the whole course. It's a lot of classes and I did so it, much and info. And I did his advanced course as well. Oh, yeah. you did the advanced? I didn't know that. I did both. And now I'm going to do his new course. He has a new one where it teaches you to properly trade crypto. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah, so. It, I, I just found it fascinating and I've been wanting to find a form of investment that I kind of connected with that wasn't like a traditional thing that I could really empower myself to, to do something apart from just working. Um, so yeah, I still have so much more to learn and I think it's difficult to learn it all just in one sitting in a few classes. So I need to go through the all material. Like I've been so busy with so many courses, like my breath work and meditation certification and also some other courses. So it's been, difficult to watch all and, and like kind of get online when the courses are happening. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Like the fact that I already feel energetically excited to do it. And then I'm always asking you questions I'm like, what are you doing? What does this look like? And then I'm just like investigating stuff online that already shows me like the energy that I have behind it. And that makes me excited. Yeah. And I, I the same as you, I got into it because I don't, I have an issue with like I don't have enough pension money for when I get when I'm old. Like, yeah, <laughs> because I I worked in Uruguay, but um, but then I moved here and then I moved there and then, and then like, just the pension situation for me is a mess. Like, I have pension in Cayman Islands, I have pension in Uruguay, I have like it's just 
I don't even think I, I don't even know how that's going to work. I know that mom and dad, you know, have issues with getting their pension and you see that you see a lot of people, our parents age that are retiring, especially in like third world countries where like they can't manage to get their pensions. Yeah. And I was like, well, crap, like what's the probability of me going through the same thing? Yeah, it's pretty high. And then, and then you're um, a slave to the system. You know what I mean? It's like you need to empower yeah. yourself to find a different way around that and make that money in a different way. And you choose how to make that because when you, when you rely on a a system that you're like literally obligated to be a part of, you don't know, you know, I know a lot of people that the money that they get from their pension isn't enough. It depends on what country you're in, but a lot of people, it's not enough. So how are you going to empower yourself right now so that you can prepare yourself for the future with the decisions you make today? Yeah, that. And then at the same time, it's just, you're getting yourself out of like, the controlled system, like you're saying, your your money is not. First of all, let's say let's give an example. You have, and we can even do small numbers. You have like, you know, let's say you have two thousand dollars sitting in in the bank, right? You could have, and you're not going to use it. It's just your backup plan, right? You can put those two thousand dollars on something that in in four months will be doubled or tripled if you pick the right. If you pick the right portfolio um, and the right projects, yeah, yeah. The right projects. And this can go so for why wouldn't you? like other kinds of investments, like stable investments that you feel m- might not give you that percentage, but it could be over 10, 20 years that could really make a difference instead of just leaving your money in the bank. Yeah. I think we need to all be I've more. Tri- I have more than tripled mine. Wow. But I started last year. This was around the time. So when COVID hit, I was already doing when well, not COVID, sorry. When quarantine in Holland hit, I was already on the class and I already started um, getting into some crypto and I got some real, I got the projects where they're really like Ethereum was 300 bucks when yes. I went into it. And now it's, well, it made it to 1007 and now went down to like one, it's at one five now, but I bought it at 300. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. Yeah. And you don't have to buy a full one. You buy like, you can buy a fraction if you don't have $300, for example. Um, But I also think whatever you choose to do, like we're saying, we're not financial advisors. We're trying something and we think it works with us and with our lifestyle. But I think really do your homework, like look stuff up and see what you feel you connect with, you know, and, and you do that. You know, we need to think about these things right now. It's super important because, like, I love what he says in the course. There's some stuff he talks about banks, and it's like sometimes you have to send money to somebody. It's like they're controlling everything. They see where your money's going from to who it's going. They're going to ask you, hey, why are you sending this person this money? It's like, it's my money. I can do whatever I want with it. Yeah. I can easily send it to your wallet. Let's say that tomorrow I owe you money, and I can send you easily some Ethereum or some Bitcoin um, right now they're having issues with gas fees. So like the price to send it is a little high, but there's a bunch of projects that are literally focused on that. So in the future, it should cost you like barely anything to send yeah. it at the end of the day. I mean, we're, what we're doing really is we're investing to leave it there for five years, six years, long right? Term, yeah. So it can, yeah, it's like it's long haul. He uh, talks about that. It's like, you can't get crazy and be like, Oh no, it's up and, and uh, it's down. It's like, you have to really choose projects that you really connect with and that you think have potential to grow. And that's what I love about what he teaches. Yeah. He, he literally looks for projects where he, he wants you to pick projects that are going to help us all liberate ourselves and other. So there's like a project, there's a new project that's just launched literally a few days ago. Um, and a bunch of people from, from the, the class were, were buying into it. And it's, it's like, it's like Google, but it's like um, a future version where like, they don't know what you look up. They cannot, there's like a total, there's, there's privacy. There's like, it, the project is literally to put and make internet private again. Wow. Also, so there's a bunch of projects. I want to say this cause this is kind of coming up with my Akashic records. It's, I don't feel like I'm prepared to, to be like, I don't know, buying crypto, but I'm going to empower myself with information and then make the decisions and go through with it. And it's scary, but I would encourage you not to be scared and to really just meditate on it, intuitively figure out what works for you and empower yourself with information. That's, that's how you're going to be able to pick something and do something that'll kind of liberate you. Right. It goes all back to the comfort zone. Yeah. Like I, the first transaction I made, I was also super like, I'm going to mess this up and lose. I did 10 bucks. 
I just, yeah. like, did a transaction. I sent $10 to my new, like, exchange account, and I was like, okay, I'm going to put it on whatever project I feel like it, and it was only 10 bucks. And it it arrived fine into my new account, and I was able to exchange it, you know. And I was like, okay, now I'm prepared for maybe fifty dollars. <laughs> like, start you know? slow, exactly. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's how we all learn, right? You got to learn that way, and always like asking questions and and making sure that you're getting information from like good sources. But this is just one. This is what we're connecting with right now, and we're not saying this is what you all need to do, obviously. But empower yourselves with decisions that you make financially. You know? Yeah. And so that's where my message comes in from the Kashuk Records. It's your, so what, so remember the Kashuk Records always talk about intention. So what they're saying is your intention is to liberate yourself, that you're just, you're saying to the universe and you're saying to yourself, your soul and to your contract, I'm no longer going to be a slave to the system. I'm going to begin the process of believing that I can be liberated from it and depend upon myself. And so the intention that you're, you're, you're setting out in our case, we're setting it forth with this. Okay. Financially, the system, I'm going to be independent from it. I want to, I want to be as free as possible. I can for the system. This is my step. This is my intention. And so the universe can only comply with that. Mm-hmm. I like right. That, yeah. So yeah, you're, maybe you're it's your something own, else for someone else. You're your own yeah. kind of governor. Like I like, I think, I don't know how he expresses it in the course, but it's like, you're your own guide in that sense it's like how what decisions am I going to make for my future that work for me and my lifestyle and what I want well he's an economist and he studied a lot of um you know what what printing a lot of money does and what you know you know world debt and blah 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 and he talks about the beginning of the crashes of the banks and I you think about you go that can't be but it happened in it happened in Uruguay a lot of people had money in a certain bank where you suppose you have your savings. And do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And anybody who had money in that bank in that bank, gone forever. Good luck with that. Yeah. It's it's scary. So it's already happened worldwide in various countries. Why wouldn't it happen? Why wouldn't it happen again? But that also makes you think it's like we're blindly trusting these entities and these yeah these groups and these people, and not all of them have our best interest in mind, right? So. I mean, <laughs> they usually don't. They usually don't. And they're yeah. taking money from you and they're pay- you have to pay them fees. And, you know, like, so I think I, that, that's what I like about crypto. That's what I like. And that's what kind of drew yeah. me into this course when I started understanding all of the reasons he's giving for empowering people with learning about crypto and being able to maybe eventually be a millionaire, maybe, you know, it's like, hey, I have all this money now that I can do something good in the world or help people, or, you know, have a great future. And for those who are not, like, um, really, like, into that subject or don't haven't heard about it very much, we're to the point where this is going to be really big in the future. I, I believe so. So I already have. If you go to my, like, dresser drawer, I have it put away. I don't use it. But I have already a debit card, crypto debit card, guys. Oh, wow. I can literally just, yeah, I'll, from, from Binance.com, all, all I have to do is sw- send over from my, switch my crypto, I put it into my, like, my card wallet, and I can go, and there's, I don't know how many hundreds of stores that already accept crypto. Oh, as a currency, and it's like going to grow card. and grow. And I don't know, like, obviously Tesla coming forward and, and kind of joining the whole Bitcoin thing. Now there's talks about Apple. So I don't think this is going to go away at all. I think the whole, like, the whole opposite. It's going to grow. Um, we don't know yeah. what direction it's going, but it's definitely going to grow in some way or another. It's just making smart choices. Yeah. So we wanted to share this with you guys because we think that the first step to empowering yourself is to try to take control back from the matrix and that number one thing right now. And that's what, at, no matter who you are, you're going under this law of, of the money, of having needing money to survive. And so we thought this was like a bullet point to start off with talking about empowerment, right? Yeah. Um, so that I think the second thing would be, I mean, the theme of the last two years or year, what year and a half health. has it been? <laughs> health. Yeah. yeah. Health. Yeah, but you know what the funny so, thing is? No one what? is putting it in that kind of light, like our health. It's no, it's you're going to get sick. You're going to die. It's like, no, what about our health? What about everything we're yeah. doing to stay healthy so that all of this doesn't affect us? None of it, 
from the stress from the media to the actual virus. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's just, I think it's, it's so obvious that they don't have our, um, what was it? How do you put it? Like our best interest. Yeah. They don't have our best interest either in that case whether it be government or media or whatever, because they're not, like Lorena said, they're not telling you, okay, listen, we've talked to a lot of really important health professionals and dietitians and fitness experts, and we've come together, and I don't know, holistic people, and we've come together and we created this perfect plan for everyone to try to follow so that if you get hit with whatever disease, you have the probability of surviving it or being fine, right, or barely feeling it, whatever, Whatever sickness it is, I don't care if it's the current sickness or the one that's going to be coming up next month. Yeah. Like, because this is not the end, right? This is right? not the end. <laughs> no. And so, and I love the way the Kasha Records always talk about the body as the box. For them, it's a box, right? And so we're carrying this box around, and the only way we can be in this matrix is to have that box with us. If our box deteriorates or is unable to survive some sort of physical aspect of this matrix, we lose the box. And then our, our soul moves on. We get, we got to get a brand new box and regrow it all over again from the beginning, like a baby. Right. Um, and so you guys like, I think the first step is make sure to realize like, what am I doing with the box that I have? You know, is, is how am I treating it it? deteriorating? Yeah. How am I treating it? Like we took, we did episode about eating via vibration. Mm -hmm. Like that's important. The Kashuk records have talked more than once already on this podcast about, moving energy so it's doing something whether it be 30 30 minutes a day whether it be like something that you like i really feel like doing hard cardio today or i just feel like doing some weights or i just feel like walking in the park like whatever it is move that energy and listen stuck to energy yourself. creates sickness and listen yeah. to what your body needs i think we're in this crazy world we're living in especially now like no one teaches us to kind of just sit and listen to what we need like even yesterday I was just sitting here. I was like, Oh my God, I'm so tired. Like I was like, okay, I'm getting my period and I'm getting really tired. And I know what my body needs around this time. So <laughs> sorry for all the guys. Yeah, TMI. <laughs> but I'm going to be honest. And I was like, I would go to the gym or I'd go for a run. I was like thinking about going to spinning, but I was like, actually my body doesn't want that. And I really just sat down and said, I'm going to go for a walk. I never go for a walk because it's hard around here. There's a lot of cars on the street, unless it's on the beach, but then you don't get like a proper walk. So I ended up going for like a three kilometer walk, which was amazing. I had my headphones in, I was listening to music and just kind of like zoned out and it was amazing. And I was like, that's exactly what I needed because I came back and I wasn't dead. I wasn't tired. I was like refreshed and calm, which is the kind of state I wanted to be in. Um, But no one except maybe some people on social media and some experts are really no, no one's really talking about our immune system. No one's talking about the things that we can do to empower ourselves to feel better and to not get sick. It's wash your hands. It's put a mask on. But like, great, you can put a mask and wash your hands all you want. But if you're, you know, you know, diabetes apparently eating is like, McDonald's, yeah. eating McDonald's for like a month. Yeah, if, if the, the like a little tiny virus can pass by you, and you're gonna get it. Your your immune system shot, so you're going to have more of a chance of getting that or anything else. It doesn't matter what it is. So I think if we can empower ourselves by thinking about our health in a holistic way, from all three aspects, right, the emotional, the spiritual, and like the mental aspects of it like the physical, of course, but it's like all those will affect our physical body. So if we're stressed, we're going to get sick. If we're not sleeping enough, we're going to probably have a low immune system. If we're not eating the right foods for our body and not getting the right nutrients, you know, you can put a mask on all you want. You're still probably more prone to get it anyway. Um, What was the percentage you talked the other day about of eating? Was it? Like 80, 20, 80, 20 yeah, is like it? 80% yeah. of the time eat as healthy as you can to nourish your body. And then 20%, you're going to enjoy food. You're going to, you know. Yeah. You, got, you like, you, you should enjoy food. And that's something that country records have talked yeah. to me about before. Like that 20%, you should really do that because your soul also is experiencing things in this, in this reality. And part of that is actually taste. Yeah. 
And it's a whole sensory. we're here to enjoy that as well. Like we're allowed to enjoy that. Yeah, and we should, but it's not going to a point of, you know, for me, a, a thing is like emotional eating. When I'm stressed, when I'm upset, I can emotionally eat. And I know that, and I know that about myself, but I need to work through that more because that doesn't allow me to eat healthy all the time or when I need to. So it's also under, like, it's like we were saying before, listen to your intuition, figure out what you need and where you're being held back with your health. We all have that intuitive gut inside of us of like, oh, this doesn't feel right. Like why am, like even a little while ago, I was like, I'm going to grab a cookie. I was like, I'm really (laughs) full. Why would I want a cookie right now? You know what? I've realized, Lorena, habit. Habit has been my best friend. I've created this, this, it's routine. Oh, is it habit or routine? Well, both. It's it's routine and it's habit. So if I now have my body and my mind is used to Monday to Friday, I, I work out Monday to Friday, um, and then usually for Saturday and Sunday, I'll do like a bike ride or I'll like walk. But Monday to Friday, I usually either do some sort of cardio or I do weights, whatever it is. Like whatever I feel like doing that day, I'll pick whatever I feel like doing. So like this week I've been doing weights because I've been really feeling like I just wanted to listen to something while I, and then worked out and not like listen to someone tell me yeah. what I have to do. And then other weeks I like, I feel like someone busting my butt and doing cardio and I'll do like YouTube videos or something. But and then I, I make sure that Monday to Friday I eat healthy. And then Saturday and Sunday I let myself eat whatever I want. But it's it's a habit where like I don't feel like eating any junk Monday to Friday. It's almost like my body's used to it and my mind's used to it. Like the decision's already been made. <laughs> I've been doing this for like months. This is like, what I do. It is, well, no, yeah. it's Wednesday. I don't feel like eating any, any chocolate on Wednesday or whatever, yeah. right? Um, so... It seems seems that that habit creating that habit has seemed to work has worked for me. I mean, if not, that, I was eating chocolate every that night. That book I was talking about, Atomic Habits. I'm not through the whole book yet because I've been pretty slow reading at night. But uh, I would definitely recommend that book to anybody. It, it really goes into the science of habits and how you can create healthy habits and how, like, you can attach um, a new habit to something you do already. And how you can create that, like the whole science behind it, it's really, really interesting. You get used to it. It's it really is like it, Sunday comes and Monday I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have a salad. I'm dying for something fresh, yeah. like like raw and fresh. Like I get so used to eating that stuff that if Saturday and Sunday we ate like pasta and this and that, I didn't have my usual salad. I usually have like huge salads or like a wrap with a lot of veggies and stuff. I'll feel like, ugh, I need something fresh. I'm feeling a little gunky. <laughs> yeah, but even that, I remember like back in the day, we would make salads with every meal. It didn't matter what we were having. There was always a big salad and we would like spend the time to make the salad and cut the veggies up and everything. And like, I think that even that is like just a habit that you can get into. And then that could create other new habits of eating healthier because you're, you're that those vegetables you're eating, you're not going to eat something else because you're eating that. My favorite thing is pizza and salad. Yeah, oh my I do. Gosh. I love that too. And if I have a piece of pizza and the salad's not there, I really feel like something's missing. It like, is. It, to me, if, it is too. I, I, I mean... It's just like because you'll scoop up the lettuce and the salad and you'll get a bite of pizza with it. And it just... I don't know why it makes it so much better. <laughs> it's true. <though. laughs> yeah, it is a habit. I think... If you guys haven't tried it, try it. I, yeah, definitely try it. I think... We just need to, like, I always say, take inventory on what you're doing. And I like to sit down sometimes and write down, like, what are things that I, I try not to, like, take away things. It's like, what can I add to my life? Like, I drink more water, for example. Like, that's great. Um, I can eat more vegetables, and that'll probably push me into a more, um, feeling more, like, full and feeling more uh, satiated and with more nutritious kind of food. So I may not feel as prone to eat something unhealthy Um, I'm going to, you know, exercise. When I exercise, even if it's half an hour, I tend to make better decisions with my food. So it's all all psychological too, if you think about it. But I think right now is a time to think about our health and really not let all these things going on in the media bring us down and disempower us because we really do have the power within ourselves to get healthy and to really like all of this stuff happening outside of us not affect us. You know, I think, and I always love, like, I always love that uh, Louise L. Hay book, Louise L. Hay's book. Um, what is it? Heal Your Life or something? Heal Yourself, Heal Your Life or something? It sounds familiar, yeah. Where she healed herself from cancer, I, I, I believe. Um, 
oh, it's so good. And she talks about all these different things in the book about how exactly what I'm just saying, which is funny, like there's so many levels to health and it doesn't, it's about the food, about the energy you're putting in, the thoughts inside of you, all that can make you sick. Your lifestyle, yeah, you know, going every day to a job that you hate and really brings you down, that stresses you out and that can bring like chronic illness that can make you stressed. So... Yeah. There, there we go I again. That for me, decisions, right? What decisions are you making yeah. to empower yourself? If I go through like a moment where I'm really upset about something, the probability of me getting a cold is like 95%. Like I, for me, emotion is a huge part of me staying healthy or my immune system staying like strong. It's crazy. Yeah. I've noticed that about myself. It, and and I, it took me a while to notice it, but then I'm like, wait, every time I get upset, the next week I'm sick. Like, it took me a really long time to figure that out. I'm like, oh, I see the pattern now. <laughs> I remember once back when I was in Uruguay, I parked the car in a place that I didn't know you shouldn't park, and I got a ticket. I'd never gotten a ticket. So I, the ticket was on the car when I got back to it. I got so mad. This was years ago, right? I got so mad. I remember like going home and I was like, mom, dad, what the heck? I just got a ticket. There's no sign saying that you couldn't park there. They're like, Lorena, just calm down. It's just, it's just a ticket. I was like, no, I got to go for a run. I went for a 10 kilometer run. That's how pissed off I was. (laughs) The next day I was sick in bed. Literally. There you go. There you go. The anger and the frustration I was feeling. It just, Oh my God, it was so much. And I look back and I'm like, why did that bother me so much? Like, that's silly. Oh my God. I got a ticket once. I only got a ticket once and it was on a roundabout in Uruguay. But the the lady, it, like the, the lady was on her motorcycle and she like went really fast around it. So I had more than enough time to go. Like I, she just, it's like, I think she sped up on purpose because in Uruguay, like the more tickets they, they, they have, like they, they write up the more money they make commission off of it. So they literally want you to mess up. Like it's, it's awful system. I don't know if it still functions that way, but it was like that before at least. And so she sped up on purpose seeing that I was going to go. I knew it. And I remember I was so angry and she was talking to me really badly. I said, can you talk to me nicely, please? Oh my God. And she's like, are you giving me attitude? I'm like, I'm giving you attitude because you're giving me attitude. She goes, you need to respect me. I said, you need to respect me for me to respect you. It was this whole oh fight between God. the two of us. I'm like, give you get what you give, girl. <laughs> like, yeah, that's crazy. I'm like, yeah, you're looking for your ticket because you want your commission, huh? What if I don't pay for the ticket? You don't get your commission? I don't know that's if it what works I like her. that, but I, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The thing is there's a lot of corruption too, right? There's cops that just want you to yeah. give them money and they're, they don't actually write you up a ticket. But I just... I hate that they just think that they can treat you mean right away. Like, they're this, oh, I, I have, I mean, they're, what, they're this huge authority and you have to, like, bend over to them because, oh, yeah, okay, m- give me the ticket, but that doesn't mean just because you're, and they're not even cops, they're, like, what is it called? <laughs> Did you say bend over? <laughs> <laughs> like bent over, like bow, bow down, down to you. Whatever. I think you like, meant to say but. bow down. I meant to say bow down, like, like you know, like praying to like a god, like oh. Yeah. I imagine by, I by the by what you were doing on the camera, but I was like, they're not seeing that. <laughs> oh, oh no, sorry, no guys, I didn't. It wasn't sexual. I didn't mean oh that. My no, gosh. Oh, that was funny. Though. <laughs> it was a girl. I didn't mean that. No, no. Mm. Um, I just, I just think that sometimes. And uh, yeah, self empowerment. I think that they over they overstep their power sometimes. Oh, for sure. And they just but that goes with their going back to the crypto and the money. This is the same thing. They they overstep their power, and it's like I can I have power over your money. I made this money. I worked for it, and you're telling me who I can send it to, and I have to give you information about what I'm doing with my money. Like it's insane. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, it's crazy. back to health. Like, yeah, what we want to say with this is. Empower yourself. (laughs) Yeah, we're going all over the place. Empower yourself and figure out what you need to change in your life to, you know, get your immune system up and to really feel your most optimum because, you know, there's a lot of things that can bring us down right now. And I think, you know, even I remember last last week speaking to a friend and she was like, I don't watch the media. I'm like, I don't either because I know that brings me down as an empath. Like I, I watch the news for five minutes and I'm like stressed. I can't do that to myself. Like that causes me to get sick. So take care of yourself however you need to empower yourself with that and realize yeah. that whatever's happening in the world, 
you know, is happening. That doesn't mean we're going to, we're going to just like shut down and not take care of ourselves. You know, it's like, this is when we most need to take care of ourselves, when we most need to focus on that. I half, I half agree with that. I don't watch the news, but I believe that you need to find a way where you can find out what's really going on in the world because I believe that there's a lot of media control. Anybody who follows my Instagram knows that I am like totally against the media. Well, like, when I say media, I, think that, I mean, I don't watch the mainstream media. I follow other media. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I, I, in my case, I'm, I'm a huge believer. I'm different from you. I'm a huge believer and I think that Knowledge is power. And if you know how they're trying to control you or how they're trying to, you know, what their new projection is, what their new uh, project is, whatever it is, I don't even know how to say it because there's so many things going on. I think that knowledge is power and you can find your way and go, well, if this ends up happening or if this plays out or if this is true, I think my best bet is go this way. And I don't know, like I... I look at it from a place where I want I want the knowledge. I want to know what's going on so I can have a better life. Because I, I refuse to be controlled. I refuse to be controlled. This man. is part of your purpose here. So, you know, that makes sense that you feel that way. So, yeah. Uh, so that goes on to, that goes very nicely into the next bullet point that we have here, which is, uh, I, I wrote it down as like projects, side projects, work projects, like whatever it is that you've been called to wanting to do. And it doesn't mean like you're quitting your job because it is, you could have a job and still start gradually beginning this new project for yourself. But creating something, if there's something you've been wanting to create, so we're not saying everybody has to do it, but if there's something you've been wanting to create, this this really is the year to begin to create that and begin to bring it into like reality or begin to process it or find out what's the best way to do it, look into it. Um, because... Maybe that will pan out to the point where you can actually just dedicate your time to that project if that's what you're looking to do, right? Yeah. How exciting would that be? Mm. But I think that might not be the case for everybody, and that's okay, like you said. You know, if you're feeling, if you've yeah. been feeling called, or maybe you have been, but you haven't been listening to your intuition, you're like, oh, I can't, I don't have time, or that I can't listen to that right now. It's like, like we urge you to, like, just give it a try. Like, yeah. why not? You know, even if it's like a little side hustle for a while that really fulfills you, that you feel called to do or try. I mean, why why not? I feel like, and I've I've channeled this a few times in the last few months. It's like, this is the time for us to manifest and create our new reality. So if not now, when? Because this is when we're supposed to. <laughs> um, and this is really like the year, like you're saying, to begin it and... And I still get what we got in November, which is the next three years are not going to be easy. They're not going to be easy. And you're going to wish that you had started that now. 100%. Highly probable. Yeah. yeah. I feel that too. So I think it's stop yeah. doubting yourself. Stop second guessing yourself. Start connecting with yourself and figuring out what it is that you really want to do. And it might be cloudy right now. You might not have that clear. Maybe you do, but you're scared. Maybe you do, but you don't believe in yourself. It's like... You know, that goes into our next topic to education. Like, what can you learn today? That doesn't mean you giving, forking over like thousands and thousands of dollars to a university that you can learn online. You know, like, look at, look at us. Like, we studied the Akashic Records and we didn't go to the We U- spent a lot of money. I mean, we spent money. Well, I spent a lot of money. Yeah, but. Yeah, I mean, compared to like how you can get some courses now or you can buy the book back then, and at least in South America. But yeah, um, there's always. I mean, nowadays, at least there's a, there's a better way, there's a probably better way for you to do it. Yeah. Especially now since everything, everything's going online, people are having to adapt to that and that's making it all financially a little bit more accessible or better options are showing up. Right. Mm -hmm. And and a good example I want to give is we even have a cheaper version of our course, the Akashic Records course on Udemy for those, because we, we want people to be able to access a co- that course if they want to, and they don't, they don't have the money to pay the, the Zoom classes that we do, or, you know, they don't want to pay, we have it on Thinkific as well, which is, is a little bit more expensive because it has more assistance, a little bit more videos of us talking and explaining, more information. things like that, but a little bit more information. So Udemy is just a, the version where you can literally, it's all the information you need to be able to read your cash records, what you need to know, what you need to figure out. There's a manual and everything. It's a cheaper version for it. Like, and there's nothing wrong with that. 
And to be honest with you, I've done so many courses on Udemy. I've even done coding courses on Udemy. Yeah. Udemy's like, pretty I fully cool blown learned to code new languages. Yeah. So, like, if there's something you wanted to study, guys, look at an alternative p- word, way to study it. And don't go, you know what? I'm going to save up some money. I'm going to do it in, like, f- blah, blah years. Like, no. Find... If you tell the universe that you want to study this one thing, the universe is going to have to give you a version of it that you can afford. Yeah. If you really, really believe that. Yeah. Or, or stumble upon the right person that'll give you that information or, you know. It, or the money you need just for that course is going to show up. Like, yep. I, I, guys, I've been there so many times. Mm-hmm. I've decided to do something and everyone goes, Lucia, you're crazy. How are you going to pay for it? I don't know. I'm just going to do it. Like, yeah. 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 It's true. Like, I've invested, I, I said to myself this year, I'm investing in myself in a few courses, um, things that I normally wouldn't pay. Um, but I know it's not only for me, it's for everybody. Like the information I'm going to learn, I'm going to share it. So I have like this need to be able to, to do that. So, you know, education's a weird thing. I think we've all been kind of especially I think our generation, it was like, if you didn't go to college, it's like you didn't amount to anything or you weren't good enough or you didn't, you're not going to end up doing something or being successful. Right. And that's so far from the truth today. Like, I think the most important thing is, I think that's another aspect of the system that we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You know, it's, it's this idea of like, you have to fork up thousands and thousands and thousands and be in debt for years of your life. It's like, no, you don't, you don't have to go that route. If you, if you don't, first of all, if you don't feel that route's your like authentic to you, don't feel forced. I'm going to be honest with you. The Akashic records, any reading that I've done in the last two years, I think we would say they've really urged people to not go into the option where they have to go into debt or spend too much money for course. They're yeah. actually looking for people to learn things, but from a a, ch- a much cheaper place. Like they want you to liberate yourself with the knowledge you're looking to get. And so I would say that I don't feel like anybody goes under that category anymore. Um, I haven't gotten that, at least from the people that I've read in the last year, two years. To me, it's shifting for sure. It, yeah. It, I think it's changing. And, and we're all it's seeing good. a new reality and realizing that we don't, we don't need to go down that route to be successful. I think there's certain careers. Of course you do being a doctor, you know, technical things where you can't just do a course online, 100% you're going to go down that route. But I think there's so many options today. You can have a spiritual business. You could do Reiki. You can like, you can pretty much do anything online today. Like empower yourself with that thought and that idea of like, I don't have to go to college if I don't want to. And if I do, it's because I choose to, and I'm okay with that. And whatever I do choose, I'm going to make sure it resonates with me and it aligns with me and my purpose. Because if it doesn't, then you're wasting your time. You you don't want to waste your time, right? Yeah. Yep. Totally agree with that. So I think we covered the empowerment episode pretty well. I think those are, those are all the bullet points we wanted to make sure to talk about. Um, Whatever it is that you need right now to feel a little bit more powerful, that's the first thing that you need to go towards. That's the first thing you guys need to concentrate on and do. And this is the year to empower yourself because if this year you don't start putting everything into a neat box for yourself in that sort of sense, the next the next years that are coming up are gonna are going to feel really out there for you, like really possibly very chaotic, and. Um, and that's what the cash workers are trying to help you guys do by self empowering in that beginning now you can be prepared for those difficult years that are going to come for earth and you can be in a better place and be in a happy place like while the chaos is happening you're still going to see things maybe or have some sort of experience that's not going to be the best the nicest but you're going to be inside of this new structure that that fits you better and that fits your reality better. And so it's just, why not? Right. Why wouldn't you try that? I agree. Um, before we end the episode, I want to just mention, because we haven't mentioned this on the podcast yet, we have on social media and we have on our newsletter kind of, um, 
anybody that signed up for the newsletter, um, that we have opened up our Akashic Records Level 1 Zoom course. So that means it's a course where you can learn to read your own Akashic Records. It's Level 1. And we have decided to only open this course a couple of times this year, I think two, possibly three, depending on um, how the dates work out for us this year. But we are opening our first um, Zoom course this year, and it's going to be Saturday, April 17th and Sunday, April 18th. So it'll be two days. Um, originally, we we used to do three days, but we decided to do this time to make it a little bit easier because a lot of people couldn't make it to certain days. And we figured that we wanted to make this a little bit easier for everybody. So the f- day one's theory, day two's theory and practice. So we practice with you. You actually open your Akashic Records with us. We open ours. We practice. We channel together. We answer any questions during both of those days. And then on um, the following weekend, Lucy and I get together and we answer all of the questions for anybody that's in that group, in that class. So we open up our Akashic Records and we answer all the questions and then we create a video with that and then send it to everybody in the class. Of course, we're always available to answer any questions for you guys that are in the course um, through email or through our private Facebook uh, group that you get, um, yeah, you get accepted into once you sign up for the course. So um, yeah, so if you guys are interested, definitely check, check out the posts that we did on Instagram or Facebook. And feel free to email us at soultribeacademy at gmail.com. I'll put all that information in the show notes as well so you guys can see it. And of of course, like Lucia mentioned, we have our Udemy course. So that's on there. That's always there. I'll include that link as well. And then we have like our second level course, which is between the Zoom and Udemy is is our own course, which is on our platform. And that teaches you also level one. All of these courses are level one. We haven't created level two yet. And that will basically give you a little bit more information than the Udemy course. It gives you also access to the Facebook group, which Udemy does not, and um, kind of help from us. So we are there to help you, guide you if you have any questions, and then you have access to the course and you keep, you know, you'll have access to that for a lifetime. You can log in, watch the videos, download the manual, do all that. Um, So yeah, if you guys are interested, please let us know. Spots are limited. So we want to make sure that if you're interested that you can get you in and any questions you have as well, we're here. So yeah. Thanks. Thanks guys for tuning in. We really appreciate all your support and all of your messages and lovely comments that we receive from you. And we will see you guys next week with a new episode. Bye guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.